People in the town of Atimonan head to church early on Sunday mornings. It's just six o'clock. They're united in their Catholic faith and in their opposition to a controversial construction project nearby. It's been part of our advocacy to uh, fight coal plants because it's uh, harmful to people, harmful to environment. Coal is dirty. We just want to, to protect our people and uh, this is in keeping with the social teachings of the church that uh, teaches us to care for the, the earth and care for, for those who are in the margins of society. After mass, the congregation head to the site of a planned coal-fired power plant to check if construction has already begun. They keep a detailed record of developments. They Father Noel says contractors have already started to clear the area of trees. Someday this, water this woman fears the plant will poison the local drinking water. You are joining the global movement to divest from fossil fuels. And that's a macro uh, level uh, approach. So not just the micro, the, the town, we are protecting our people. We are joining the much uh, larger picture for the protection of our common home. The Philippines has rapid population growth. 12 million people live in Metro Manila alone, and the power grid is in urgent need of modernization. Electricity is expensive, and the plants generate a lot of pollution. Joanne Ayala is head of sustainable energy finance at a bank and says there are major business opportunities in the sector. Turn your business green to gold. So you don't just do green to be happy, to feel good about what you do, to do good for the environment. Make money out of it. Two-thirds of the Philippines' energy consumption is actually coming from fossil fuel. So in our own little way as a bank um, here in the country, what we hope to do is to help shift that energy mix to, to cleaner energy. We help make sure that the projects are profitable and um, designed in a technically viable way by providing consultations. This is one of the projects her bank has financed to the tune of one million euros. Just a year ago, it was a stinking open rubbish dump, the biggest landfill site in Manila. Now the garbage has been covered with earth and is used to generate electricity. Okay. Silva Navarro is an engineer and renewable energy consultant. This well is uh, connected down to the ground and it's uh, collecting the methane gas and other gases that's being produced by the decomposing uh, garbage inside. So we have uh, more than 100 of these wells drilled around uh, the dump site. The gas goes to a power plant where it drives turbines. Navarro checks regularly how much electricity the gas generates. He says the garbage should yield gas for 30 more years. He provides advice on energy projects and how to finance them to countries across Asia. I'm looking at this in a, let's say, in a longer term way because we also have to invest in our future, and our future also depends on how clean our environment will be, not for only uh, for ourselves, but also for the future generation. And making good business also creates a good environment for continuing what uh, good things we are uh, starting to do now. That landfill project may be good for the environment, but it's not so welcome for people living in the slum nearby who have lost their source of income. They used to pick through the garbage for things they could sell for recycling, plastic and aluminium. Now, children look for those items while they are still on garbage trucks. The drivers stop for a few minutes to let the kids climb aboard and rummage around. Brian is 13 and has already been collecting garbage for three years. He lives with his mother and five brothers and sisters. He tells us he knows how to read and write, and is proud of that. I work every day. 
from 7 in the morning until 6 in the evening. I earn about 200 pesos a day. That's equivalent to about 3 euros. When he grows up, he wants to work on a garbage truck. In Atimonan, the campaigners are hoping they can still prevent the construction of the coal plant. There's one more permit the authorities have yet to issue. Father Noel and his congregation are determined to do their part for the environment. We installed two sets of solar panels, one in the rectory and the other for, for the church. Our main goal is to provide uh, cheap electricity for the church. And at the same time, this is the good uh, way of uh, showing to the whole world that we can uh, make use of renewable energy source. And once we, we, we have shown the, the viability, uh, we can uh, gradually switch from the dirty energy source to the renewable one. By next year, the entire roof of the church complex is set to be covered in photovoltaic panels. In addition to their efforts to block fossil fuels and increase environmental awareness, the congregation are making a positive contribution of their own by switching to solar. <laughs>